This is Rollins. And when you first start the game, you are thrown into a, the space station. And essentially, there's a tutorial system that you go through, which will teach you all about the basics of controls and even some programming aspects. But for this, we're going to accelerate things, and we're just going to take you through a little bit of a programming tutorial. Now, when you see around you, you can see planets, right? But you can't get to those planets because you don't have a robot that can fly. And we do have robots that are scattered all over the space station that can help you uh, get there. They can fly. But it's always nice when you can create your own. But for this tutorial, we're going to create a four-wheeler um, just to keep things simple. So I'm going to press left alt. You can see my cursor shows a core part that's attached to it. And I'm going to click here. And now I'm going to press left alt again, click on that, and it goes into that space. Press B to go into build mode. My robot. Building is just like Lego. You can select the parts that you want and build. So this would require four motors as well. And four wheels. With wide, wide wheels on this. So now we have a little car. But how do we make this car move? So we're going to go into the programming console by pressing tab. That's shown up. And I can select any node I want. Right? So I can drag that over there. And to select multiple, like so now if I want to select this, it's going to make that disappear. So what I actually really want is to shift click this here. I'm still holding shift. So now I have multiple motors on screen. If I control click a motor node, it gives me all these attributes. I'm only interested in the velocity at this point. Because the velocity is going to make the motor turn, motor move the car forward. What I want is some way of getting input so that when I press W, the car moves forward. When I press S, the car moves backwards. Select the input sampler. And now, these have these basic set of attributes here. So now when I press W, you can see the values go up for the output, but invert is of course inverted. And if I press S, it's the reverse. So I'm just gonna take this output and put it directly to this velocity. Because these two motors are like a mirror of these motors, I'm gonna put the inverted here. And so now if I get out of programming mode and build mode, if I press W, it moves forward. If I press S, it moves backwards. <laughs> 